After Amendment 1 passed last week, people knew the Republican-led legislature would make changes. Just yesterday, a Rutherford County representative filed the first piece of legislation to change abortion laws. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon explains what that bill would do. And Jessica, the General Assembly doesn't convene until early next year, but when they arrive on Capitol Hill, House Bill 2 will be there waiting for them to discuss and debate. This coming session on Capitol Hill, abortion will be a controversial topic. Representative Rick Womack introduced the first abortion-related bill this week. This is about protecting the emotional and physical health of a woman. House Bill 2 comes just a week and a half after Tennessee voters approved Amendment 1, giving the legislature power to change abortion laws. Womack's bill involves ultrasound results and a waiting period. There's really nothing that's stopping or restricting a woman from terminating her pregnancy. It's just that we're requiring the abortion clinics to share that information with the mother so she gets a full picture and has a complete knowledge of exactly what she's about to do. The bill would require women to look at an ultrasound image. If they decline to do so, the provider would need to verbally explain the image, describe the fetus, make the woman listen to the heartbeat, and provide her with a copy of the image. This has nothing to do with providing women with more information. Uh, to help them make a more informed decision. This is all about shaming and demeaning and terrorizing women. Jeff Teague is president of Planned Parenthood in Middle and East Tennessee. There are seven abortion providers in the state, two in Memphis, Nashville, and Knoxville, and one in Bristol. Their goal uh, is to close as many facilities as possible uh, under the guise that they're making it safer. And what we know is that it actually makes it more unsafe when women have fewer options for safe legal abortion. When this bill comes up on Capitol Hill, it'll also require women to wait at least 24 hours to get an abortion. Womack actually introduced this bill two years ago, but then pulled it to wait for the results of the Amendment 1 vote. So that's why he was able to file it so quickly. Now, according to Planned Parenthood, Texas passed similar but even more restrictive laws this year. Before those laws, there were 41 abortion providers in the state. Today, there are eight. 